recipe for today is shrimp with coconut milk and with butternut squash and with spinach so that's our recipe for today so here is guys i'm gonna show you all the ingredients it's gonna be so yummy guys i love shrimp especially the one that have shells so all the flavors just in there so it's nice to have that shell in it so it gives it a lot of flavor so anyway guys i'm gonna show you all my ingredients so here's our coconut milk and of course our one pan of shrimp with shell and our butternut squash i love butternut squash guys i don't know if you ever try it but eh, butternut squash is very good for you and here's our spinach and with the onion and ginger and tomato and don't forget our garlic but anyway guys let's start so the fan is hot let's start with our oil so let's saute our garlic and our tomato our ginger and our onion and then the next thing we're gonna cook guys is the squash so since the squash takes a little bit longer to cook so let's cook our squash first and then followed with our coconut milk and then the shrimp and the spinach very simple guys so now that you can smell the aroma of the garlic and the onion and the ginger it's time to put our squash guys so here's our butternut squash so let's cook it for a little bit and cover it and then when it's a little firm and then just add our coconut milk it's time to put our coconut milk guys since this is very creamy I'm not gonna put all of it and then I'm just gonna add water to to this so it won't be so too heavy because I don't like anything very heavy Oh, that was just in the top, so I just put all of them. I was thinking it's all creamy like that. So it was okay, guys. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water too because I don't like it too heavy. just continue cooking it for maybe about maybe five minutes
this already guys I didn't even put the shrimp yet can you imagine when it's the shrimp is there and all the flavor is adding oh it's gonna be so yummy So now guys it's time to put our shrimp. See it's ready to put our shrimp and make sure guys you don't over overcook your shrimp because when you overcook your shrimp the shrimp won't taste very good. So that's the key guys don't overcook your shrimp. So while our shrimp is cooking more so it's about time to put our spinach guys because spinach didn't take that long to cook so just let them hang out there too see how simple it is guys very easy since the last time i make the the salmon with coconut milk oh my gosh i've been i've been making salmon with coconut milk all the time because my husband he sure loved it So now this is the first time I did with a shrimp. Oh, but I can't imagine the flavor of the shrimp there, guys, with the shells. Can't wait to try it. Let it simmer for maybe cook a minute, and this should be done, guys. That looks so yummy guys. See how fast the spinach cook. The spinach cook really fast. And spinach you don't really have to cook it so much. Um, it's time to turn it up. And our shrimp should be cooked too. Let me just try once. Make sure. Oh yes guys, the shrimp is cooked. So I'm just gonna transfer it to our plates. It's done guys. Here it is. Isn't that looks delicious? shrimp with coconut milk and spinach and butternut squash I cannot wait to try this and here this guys with the rice Ta -da! you want to try it with me let's try guys see how super yummy guys very yummy the butternut squash they are very good I can eat a lot of rice in this in trouble <laughs> and the shrimp look how juicy so good guys and it's very simple you can try it if you like shrimp so yummy like what I said I can eat this every day super delicious and it's 
homemade. You can't beat homemade food. Very yummy. Butternut squash is good for your eyes. I need it because I'm getting blind. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. So make sure you share my channel. Thank you for all your support. Thank you guys.